Ladies and gentle hustlers, right here beside me is the PC that I picked up for 900 Australian dollars in August 2018's used PC parts on. I'll put the link up here if you haven't seen it already. Absolute bargain this one because it looks like so far all that's wrong with it is it's just really dirty, really dusty. It came with a GTX 1070, 750 watt gold rated power supply, also a 360 mil rad, i7 4790K, 16 gigabytes of RAM, really solid motherboard, tempered glass case, 500 gigabyte SSD. So the specs are all there. Now one can just hope for a straight boot. So we're gonna boot it up now. If there's nothing wrong with it, which is the best case scenario, then it'll be the easiest flip of my life and we'll just have to reinstall Windows. And after that, we can just give it some Tech Yes Loving. So stay tuned. Today we're gonna to be doing a really fast new meta for Tech Yes Loving if you're in a hurry. But let's see if this thing boots. So we've got the PC booted up now. It is working absolutely fine. It's actually really quiet. And the amount of ring fans installed from the get-go is actually very impressive. So there's actually a lot more uh, value loaded into this PC than I thought possible. However, there is some crap installed on the PC here. So we're gonna reinstall Windows right now. Though if you need a Windows 10 Pro 64-bit key, then today's video sponsor 0N9 have you covered. You can get these keys for as low as 12 US dollars after using the coupon code TECHYES-S. Now this coupon code will also work for Office 2016 Retail Professional Plus and also for the lots of other games that they have on the site. They have Steam, GOG, Origin, also PlayStation, Xbox games. You can get them at 10% off if you use the Tech Yes hyphen S coupon. And I've already used the Windows 10 key and activated Project Cars on Steam and it works absolutely fine. They're really quick to get you your keys. Links in the description below with the coupon code. Save some money today and let's get back to it. So now we've opened it up, you can just see how dirty this PC is. It's really filthy, surprising for a GTX uh, 1070 rig. It's even a cobweb in there from a spider. But we've got the selection of tools here, of course. We've got alcohol wipes. This is gonna be the initial just set and forget, sort of clean everything off and then chuck the alcohol wipes in the bin. Very quick and easy. Then after that, WD-40 and data vac at the same time. And I'll show you this meta, how quick it is to bring up a PC like this from rags to riches. So there it is on the floor. That's the preliminary grime that we've cleaned off the case. It is looking a lot better just after alcohol wipes alone. But again, that got off all the initial dirt and grime off all these fans, off everything. And it's now time for the new metal. So are you ready? So here it is here, this is the final product. It is looking really, really schmick. So there it is there. Clean and that new meta of cleaning definitely helped it look a million bucks. So we can uh, essentially from now, I'm actually curious to see how it performs and overclock it because I wanna overclock the 4790K. And you can see there that the memory actually lights up as well. So we'll probably be able to flip it with about maybe 50%. 60% profit on top because it's looking really clean. It's got a lot of good gear in it. And I've also added a one terabyte hard drive in as well, just to spice things up. So 
So we've been testing now the uh, PC for over an hour and a half and the temperatures are really good. Uh, they're staying under 80 degrees. This is at 4.6 gigahertz as well, which is a pretty solid overclock for the 4790K. It's about where you'd want it to sit ideally. And for the memory, we did get this up to 2000 megahertz, but there was problems. And the problem with this memory is it's got fancy LED lights on it, looks good, but there's no XMP profiles at all. Uh, the stock profile for it is the JDAC standard, I believe, which is like the CL11 uh, 1600 megahertz, and that's what it defaulted to. But this PC is running really well now. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna load up a game, Project Cars, and see how that performs on this PC. So here it is right here, the finished product right beside me, and it is looking really good, it's really quiet, and it's also performing really well. There is really no need to delid the 4790K in this situation, since we do have a 360 mil rat on it, and the 4790K was the refresh of the 4770K, and Intel claimed to use better thermal paste, and it's staying under 80 degrees at 4.6 gigahertz, which I know is a decent overclock for this CPU in itself. But when it came to gaming, this thing handled project cars absolutely fine at 1440p ultra wide, and also the temperatures inside the rig itself were really good, noise is really low, but let's talk about, of course, the flip itself. I've cleaned it all up, it was really disgusting, but it didn't take me long to clean this thing up. Alcohol wipes, and then at the same time, using the DataVac and the WD-40, just going ham, giving it that new look shine, and now we take the photos and we put it up for sale. But one thing I am a little bit confused about is if I pick up a 1080 Ti or I just keep the 1070 in there and flip it as it is, because if we put a 1080 Ti in, it does add even more value since this case is really nice and everything else in the build is really good, it would support that of a 1080 Ti, and I'd be able to then keep the 1070 and still make money on top with the 1080 Ti, because I did pick one up off an eBay sale for under 800 Australian dollars because of the RTX 2000 series announcement. People are just going crazy. They're selling their cards. They want to get the new graphics cards, and they're letting them go really cheap. Plus, you've got the mining crux as well, Mining on GPUs is really not profitable anymore. I checked on whattomine.com and this, I think you're making like four cents a day or something on a graphics card. It's ridiculous. So ASIC miners have indeed killed GPU mining at least to a certain extent. And maybe there's some new startup cryptos that make money, I'm not too sure. But it's a great time if you wanna get into used price performance because there are just gonna be used graphics cards coming from all angles. RTX 2000 series is really making things exciting. I know some people are complaining about the pre-order prices. I know some people are complaining about Nvidia not showing enough figures. I personally don't really care. I think it's getting things exciting where I really love and my passion resides, and that's the used price performance segment. Anyway guys, hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, then be sure to hit that like button. Let me know in the comment section below what you think of this PC, and if you've had any awesome flips yourself lately. Love reading your comments and thoughts and opinions as always. And also don't forget to check out 0and9.com, today's video sponsor. Links in the description below. Use the coupon code techyes-s to get 10% off site-wide, and I'll catch you on another tech video very soon. Peace out for now. Bye.